Welcome to the Movie Review Show. My name is Adrian Washington, and this show is brought to you by no other than No Deals with the Double Filmworks. Never sell yourself. With that being said, let's jump right in. I'll give you a brief overview of how the show works. We take a look at four films, one being a documentary, two being narratives. And if for those of you who don't know what a narrative is, a narrative is basically what you see at the box office on the uh, common weekend. It's the film with the entertainment value. And lastly, we're gonna take a look at the DVD, or for those of you who can afford it, Blu-ray. Uh, and this week, uh, the four films we'll be looking at uh, in our documentary section, we'll be taking a look at a film directed by Ari Foman called Waltz with Bashir. Uh, the two narratives will be taken, uh, starring Liam Neeson, and of course, everyone knows Watchmen. And then lastly, rounding out our four films, we'll be taking a look at the DVD Miracle at St. Anna, or for those of you who can afford it, Blu-ray. So that being said, let's jump right in and let's take a look at the trailer for our first film, the documentary, Waltz with Bashir. After the 1982 invasion of Lebanon, I lost my memory. Now, in order to remember, I'm looking for those who can never forget. Cinematically, I thought Waltz with Bashir was a great film. I think the director and the cinematographer made great choices as far as, or videographer in this case made great, and animator. <laughs> Everyone in the, front, the filming process of Waltz with Bashir made great choices as far as uh, creating this narrative effect inside of this documentary. Uh, my favorite parts of the film were the beginning, uh, and I don't want to give it away for too many people, but the beginning and the ending, which were, were both perfect points uh, to anchor the film. Uh, the middle lagged a little bit. It started to build and then it teetered off, but uh, it was enough to hold you until you got to the end. Overall, I enjoyed Waltz with Bashir. However, I did have a few questions as uh, the film came to a close. It left a lot of holes for me. Outside of that, the film was, was very nice and I would actually go as far as to give it an eight out of 10. So that being said, we're gonna move on to our next project.